Hello everybody and welcome into this end of an era SFA update video. When you are watching this, when this goes live, we are officially 24 hours until launch of College Football 25 for those with early access. Full launch will be later on in the week. Um, I just wanted to make an update video for you guys because uh, there's a lot of misconceptions out there. I just want to get us all on the same page on what to expect over the next couple of weeks and where my mind is at headed into the new game. So it's no question season 15 marks the end of the NCA 14 era. I cannot think of a circumstance in which I would ever consider going back to NCA 14. Um, we've just, I've spent over two years doing it uh, full time and uh, I love the game, but it's time to move on folks. And so um, anybody who's saying, oh, we'll, we'll just go back to 14, that is false. I'm going to do everything I can to get us to the new game. And, uh, and I really don't see a scenario that I would even consider going back. So with that being said, um, the SFA is going to go on a little bit of a hiatus here. And I think that hiatus might last a little bit longer than some of you guys are anticipating. I think it is going to last longer than a regular offseason, which is about two weeks. And, uh, and there's, about, there, there, there's a lot of reasons for it, but, but there's really three main reasons. The first one is EA. On launch of their games, there's always issues. There's also there's always server crashes. There's always bugs, right? There's stuff that, that in testing, they can't figure out um, or they can't anticipate going wrong. And so you, you've got to give these companies time to let the game be tested, be played, be broken, and for them to be able to fix it. So I'm not going to rush into starting a dynasty, transferring all... 400 plus SFA players only to have it get deleted and restarted because EA pushes out an update or the, or there's something game breaking in dynasty mode, right? Um, so we, we're going to give EA a chance to breathe, a chance to fix their game, a chance to push out a couple of updates to fix stuff. And, um, and so that's the first main reason. We, we just want to give them a little bit of time because there's nothing worse than all of your work getting deleted and having to restart. The second reason here is going to be um, is going to really be about how the SFA works. When when we were on sim matchup and we transferred over to NCA 14, it was a complete overhaul of what I always call our formula, our game winning formula, our schedule, our five day schedule, how we do things, the process of the week, and the sequence in which we do things from season to season, and just kind of my uh, my my to do list, my task list, right? Each and every week, I check all these boxes as we move on through the season. Uh, moving to an entire new game engine, moving to an entire new mode, an entire new game and generation of console. We don't know what's possible. We don't know what things we might be losing. We don't know what kind of things we might be gaining. So uh, we've got to give it some time to do our research, to play the mode, and to really see what the best path forward is for the SFA. And, uh, and you can probably expect the SFA that you've known for the last couple of years is probably going to look a lot different. Now, at its very core, it won't be. It's going to be building a team, getting... Um, acquiring SFA players, watching them on stream. That, that's our bread and butter. That's not going to change. However, the way we present things via streams or the way we go about our weeks or how long our weeks last is likely going to change. So, um, so obviously, all ideas are welcome from everybody in the server. Um, so, you know, keep, keep an eye out. If you, have an, if you have an idea, shoot it our way. But it's going to take some time to develop that formula and figure out what the best way forward is. Uh, and then the third reason is I am just so tired. I'm so strung out and I need a break. And, uh, you know, I, we, we started the SFA in December of 2020. And um, it grew to heights and grew into something I never thought was possible. I just joined it because I wanted to, uh, to find a sim server where I could just submit some rankings and kind of mock the, uh, the, the college football committee. And, and then uh, all of a sudden I'm taking over a conference as a commissioner. I'm running a schedule. And then I'm taking over Colorado 
putting in play styles and then I have this brilliant idea that oh we should add recruiting and then the rest is history right it's just an ultimate snowballing effect into what we have today I buy a PC I buy a console and a stream and it's kind of become a second job for me I love every second of it however on game days I work my regular eight hour uh, 8 to 10 hours a day at my real life job and then I spend 8 to 10 hours doing the SFA on those days and doing it religiously on a five-day schedule over the course of th two and a half three years is a ton of work and it's very taxing and it's a huge commitment and um, and I just need a bit of a break uh, because what what you guys see the videos the streams what I post in the server, that's like 5% of the work I put into this. Most of it is spent in the files. Most of it is doing graphics. Most of it's uh, on spreadsheets, creating new recruits years in advance uh, and creating all those graphics and such and just designing new systems right for you guys. And, um, and it really all came to a point in Season 15. Um, I had to take over Bear Cave. I had to uh, do a lot of the sports book stuff. And, uh, and just kind of carry us across that finish line. And that's kind of what the SFA became. It's a way for us to get to the new game. And now that we're here, we are kind of at a crossroads of where we want to go. Um, now, I'm not going to go anywhere. The, the way I recharge is by, you know, playing video games and football. Those are my two favorite interests. This is, I've been waiting for this game for 11 years um, as a pipe dream, and then when they announced it, I've been waiting, looking at the clock every second, like, okay, three years until the launch, you know what I mean? Um, so I've been counting this down for years and years. We're in the final 24 hours. I could not be more excited. Um, I do not have real life work over the next week, so I will be streaming the game. Uh, as much as possible. I maybe have one thing I have to do that's going to take me a couple hours in that week, but outside of that, I'm going to be streaming, and I'm just going to get back to playing the game and having some fun with you guys, uh, whether it's head-to-head, -head, playing the computer, uh, going through Dynasty, any and all things over the next week. We're just going to have some fun. I'm not going to be, you know, mindlessly in spreadsheets trying to figure stuff out um, I'm going to take a break and just have some fun. And I hope you guys can understand that. Um, so, so that's really the three re reasons we're going to be on a little bit of a break here. Uh, but like I just said, content's not going anywhere. If anything, it's going to ramp up. I'm going to post all the stream VODs from Twitch over here on YouTube. And then I'll probably end up splicing together some quick highlight videos as well from those streams. Um, if you're interested in watching those as well. Uh, so that's kind of the plan. I'll, we also, I have a plan to launch the first actual content on this channel that is not SFA related. I'm going to be doing a team builder uh, dynasty um, here on the channel. So look forward to that. That's going to be more of your traditional YouTuber content. Uh, we, my, my big goal for 2024 is to get to that 500 subscribers mark. So um, make sure you guys are subscribing. We're almost there. And, uh, and hopefully we can reach that finish line in 2024. That's my big goal. Um, so I do appreciate any and all support over the last four, um, four or so years doing this, uh, whether it's just follows a subscription um, or just joining the server and participating. I really do appreciate it. And anybody who has gone above and beyond uh, that's on Patreon or that subs to the Twitch or anybody who... Um, has bought in home field apparel or anybody who's helped out in the server in any way um, I'm, I'm very thankful for you. We would not be here without your help So uh, I just want to thank you guys for um, a great last couple of years Yes, it's the end of the NCAA 14 era, but the SFA is just at its beginning um, so uh, thank you guys so much. There's going to be a ton of content, like I said, coming the next week. And uh, and we're really going to focus on launching the head-to-head -head server. So make sure you join it. I'm going to be playing as many games as possible so you guys can see how it works, uh, see how the rankings fluctuate with league points. It's super fun, super cool. And then we may be, if there's enough interest, we'll be launching tournaments towards the beginning of August. So a uh, lot of stuff in store. Make sure you join. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And, uh, and let's go, baby.